the king of all currencies, the mighty US dollar is on the decline. Most people, including myself, have invested in American stock. Is there a danger due to the growing trend of de-dollarization? Hi, my name is Ahmed and I'm a chartered accountant based in London. In this video, we will take a deep dive into this topic. We will discuss BRICS. We will discuss the modern monetary system, life cycle of empires, and the growing trend of de-dollarization. It is all connected and using this information will try and establish the level of risk faced by investors and business owners in the future. Although the US dollar has by far the largest share of any currency, the share of the US dollar as a foreign reserve currency has now fallen below 60%. Other countries can still look at this market share and dream about it. And as impressive as it may sound, for the US dollar, this number is actually not that good. It shows that cracks are starting to appear in how the world views the US dollar. This begs the question, would the US dollar ever become irrelevant or is it about to become irrelevant? I don't think that's likely to happen, but can the US dollar become less relevant? There is a strong possibility that that's the world that we are heading towards. There is going to be a multipolar system of power in this world. Some people would look at this data and be in a state of shock that there is a growing trend of de-dollarization and there is a potential risk to the US empire, but it won't be the first time. The empires overstretch and overestimate their power. And that in itself starts the decline stage of their life cycle. All empires follow a life cycle. And in this video, I won't go into the detail of each stage of the life cycle, but you can easily Google this information. And it's quite an interesting read. However, the point that I'm trying to make here is that the decline of an empire starts after the overextension stage. Let's use an example. The British Empire's attempt to maintain control of most of the world actually started its decline stage. If you study the British Empire or any other empire, surprisingly, they all follow the same life cycle. But I would argue that the modern day empires have a secret weapon that previous empires didn't have. And there is no need for the modern empire to continuously conquer new territories because they have the modern monetary system. A piece of paper with a picture of your choice is a lot more powerful than what people think. It could literally keep an empire in the number one spot. If you study how the modern day monetary system has been set up, everything has been carefully designed. There is nothing natural about how people buy and sell today. The concept of fairness and equality goes out of the window. The differences in foreign exchange can help an empire stay in power for a lot longer. At the moment, the US dollar does not have an obvious competitor. But even if there is one in the future, let's say that's the BRICS currency, it will take them a long time to take over from the US dollar. If you look at what happened to the Great British Pound, which is the predecessor to the US dollar, despite having the economic advantage, it took the US several decades to take over from the British Pound. It was only after the Second World War that the US dollar was able to unleash its dominance on the world, and it took the real crown away from the British Empire. To summarize this point, 
even if the US dollar could lose the number one spot, it could take several decades for this change to happen, and it certainly won't be in the near future. There is one more point that we cannot ignore, BRICS. A new alliance of countries with large amounts of resources, including oil. And when I say oil, I mean petrodollars that support the demand for the US dollar. Although the countries within BRICS do not claim to be against the US economy, they simply want to become friends and use a currency other than the US dollar to become less reliant on a currency on which they have no control. So that is a legitimate reason, but it does indirectly mean that the US dollar will have a reduced level of demand in the future. And they won't be able to print their way out of trouble as they do now. I mean, they will still print, but it's less likely that they'll be able to print the same level of money as they do now. Even if the US dollar becomes less relevant, the world needs a stable trading currency. The US dollar has actually helped everyone around the world to enable trade using a safe and stable currency. How do you charge for goods and services if the exchange rate fluctuates all the time? You don't know what price to charge. With or without the US dollar, this is a huge global problem that will continue to exist. The US dollar has given the world a stable currency and in return, they enjoy incredible amounts of wealth and it enabled them to build incredible infrastructure with massive technological advance. The world buys from America. So if you want to buy American goods and services, you will need US dollars for it. So the demand for American goods and services will continue the demand for the US dollar. In conclusion, the world is going through an interesting chain of events. Any previous attempts to challenge the US dollar in the past were destroyed, but this time it is different. Because it is not just one country, it is a group of countries. And as much as you would think that from a foreign strategy point of view, the US would want them to fight with each other, they're actually getting on with each other and becoming friends. So there could be a new emerging power group in the world. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Like and follow to stay connected.